I just bought this entire trampoline park for $45. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video and this is how I bought a trampoline park for $45. Yes, you're hearing me right, $45. Okay, so if you guys don't already know, one of my little side hustles is buying and reselling trampolines. So I'm always looking on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for used tramps I can pick up and then resell for a profit. So I was scrolling along Craigslist last week and I came across an ad for an auction for a closed trampoline park. So I clicked on it and I was like, this is jump off. This is like the trampoline park I grew up going to. So I clicked on the auction website and went to it and they were selling all of their trampoline equipment in one lot. So you would think they would separate it like foam pit, airbag, main core, all that stuff. No, it was all just one lot and the highest bid was $20. So when I saw it was $20, I was like, okay, I can get a bid and I gotta get involved in this. So I bid up to $25 and then went to sleep. The auction ended the next morning. So yeah, and then we woke up the next morning and the highest bid was like $30 or so. So we bid again and then someone else bid and then we bid $45 and we won. It's ours? <laughs> like, what? Honestly, didn't think these things could like ever happen like this, but it did, and now I literally own all of Jump Off's trampoline equipment. So I think now I'm just gonna cut to when I'm actually at Jump Off, taking everything apart. All right, so uh, I just bought this entire trampoline park for $45. And no, I'm not clickbaiting you guys. This is legit, I legit bought this entire trampoline park for $45. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that this park, Jump Off, was one of the first trampoline parks I started coming to and I really started learning all my flips here. And unfortunately, because of COVID, they ended up shutting down. So this is what I got. One dodgeball court, two dodgeball courts, airbag, airbag trampolines, basketball hoops, basketball trampolines, entire foam pit with all the foam blocks and everything, foam pit trampolines, performance trampolines over here and the entire main court. So if you guys are wondering what I plan on doing with this, honestly, I have no clue yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, we're gonna start taking everything apart. I don't even know where to start with this. That's the problem. So I think we're just gonna start with the easiest stuff, start taking all the pads off and stuff. All right, vlog update. This is our current progress. We got all the spring pads off, and we've started taking all the trampolines off. Only problem now is someone opened that fire door, and now it's going off like crazy, and it's been going off for the past 30 minutes, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is hard work, but, but it's moving along. Okay, so this is the farthest we were able to get today. We'll be back tomorrow to continue the disassembling process. Catch you guys then. All right guys, it's the next day. This is my current progress. I just took apart those three trampolines right there. And as of right now, it's just me doing this, but I think later today I have some people coming to help. So hopefully today doesn't go by too slow. All right, it's been about an hour or so since I filmed. I've gotten all the trampolines taken apart, and now we got some of the Cliff Life boys here helping out. Thank you guys for showing up. You got it, man. And we're just working on all the springs now. And after that, we're probably gonna start with the foam for this. is gonna be intense. Now all of the bins are filled up with springs, so I think we gotta start on the foam pit now. We got a bunch of garbage bags. We're just gonna start emptying everything out and filling up the bags. Yo! No one's got the bounce board. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this thing. Right now we're just having a little fun before we start taking everything down. Woo. Yes sir! We got Benny Boy going in for a little dump front with a stall in the middle. <laughs> Take a look at this. So we have all of these garbage bags filled with foam. You think this make a difference? Nope. Literally looks the exact Not same dead, as when we started, dude. So this is gonna be a pain. Actually, we're at our big brain idea. So every single trampoline over there had a net underneath it. So we just took a net, took some springs, and boom, we're all set. All right, I got my foam pit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mike just pulled out a perfectly good pair of AirPods out of this pit. No. You're fully charged. Hey. <laughs> that was the first thing we found. I wonder how much more we can find. About a quarter. He found a quarter. <laughs> Yo, what? I Look at this. My own pair. Second pair of AirPods. Sorry, Joseph, these are mine now, baby. <laughs> Within two minutes of each other. Oh, Joseph, you got nasty ears, kid. <laughs> Come on. Ben is on the wall right now. This is terrifying, man. <laughs> All right, that's not that bad. You can go up. <laughs> 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 Here comes the dust. Yeah, triple that. You had it easy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> two and a half. Mac, <laughs> two and a half. I didn't cowboy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, dude. That was it. Yeah. Dude. Just found the third pair of AirPods. How many are we gonna find, like total? We have three already. And we still have so much more foam. I bet there's so much stuff under here. Cause there's a nail? Oh, that's gross. Yeah, just remember, like so much AirPods, we're finding some nasty stuff. Yeah, but we haven't searched over here just cause like, we're just messing around here taking breaks and stuff. But found three pairs already. Josh just found an iPhone. Uh, found an iPhone product red. I have no idea what model it's this is. 11. That's, that's, a, that's 11. an 11? Yeah. yeah. Holy grail. <laughs> Holy grail. No, it's, of course it's yeah, dead. Okay. Anyone got a charger? <laughs> so we have found three pairs of AirPods, so, one uh, iPhone, and then a ton of change. Yeah. Wait, no, I just wanna take a look at it. Yeah, I know you guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I know. Look how clean, like, there's like no cracks though, except for like yeah, that and that on the screen protector. It's just extremely fing dirty. Oh, censor that. <laughs> After Josh found that, look at everyone over here. Team Morale! iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Look at how fast we're moving now. Everyone's trying to get an iPhone. <laughs> if you guys look, there's two trampolines here, and there's a ton of foam box underneath. There's gotta be some stuff down there too, so we'll see. Another phone has been found. Turn the phone. Let's go. Another guy, another phone, baby. Well, let's see. This, <laughs> this is a moto. Oh, shoot, what is this? Moto, was it it's underneath? Not, was it underneath the tramp? Yeah, it was underneath the tramp. Yeah, I was just chilling right here. Yeah. Oh no, it's an LG something. Holy. All right, so now we have a problem. We found two phones, but we lost one. <laughs> Mike lost his phone somewhere in here, so we'll find it eventually. At first, we were thinking it was just under these blocks, but we just like went through them all and couldn't no, find a thing. Okay, vlog update. Everyone is now gone. We're done for the day, as you could probably tell. We got like half of the foam pit cleared. Look at all of this foam over here, plus all the foam and bags over there. Unfortunately, we could not find Mike's phone, but I'm sure we'll find it once we fully clear out the pit. But yeah, that wraps up day two. Catch you guys on day three, probably. All right, it's the next day. It is day three now. Right now, I'm just here with Emily and we've been working on taking apart the performance tramps. We would be working on the foam again, but we don't have the same crew that we did yesterday because it'd be really hard to fold up all these nets with just two people. All right, thank you for coming out. You're welcome. This is gonna wrap up day three. Didn't really do too much today, but we took apart the performance trampoline, one of them, and we took some more foam blocks out. I was also super exhausted today from just working nonstop the past two days. I've literally been here from like 9 a.m. all the way until like 6 p.m. the past two days, so kind of just needed to chill out for one day. And tomorrow we got a whole bunch of people coming. Tomorrow's probably when we're gonna get the most done. Catch you guys then. Day four. Today we are gonna start working on the second pro tramp, which is on the other side of here. And then we're gonna get the pit completely cleared. And then once we get that done, we're just gonna start taking part of the main court as much as possible. Vlog update. Jonah and Ben are here, and Jonah, within the first five minutes of him being here, found Mike's phone that we lost the other day, so we got it back. All right, quick break. We've been emptying out the pit. Look at how much progress we've made. Jonah's bouncing on the tramp at the bottom of the pit. It's so terrifying. Just do it. Do it the other way, so if you fly back, you go this way. I bought him out on the takeoff. <laughs> Yo, Jonah's doing a castaway.
Okay, another update. Now we are working on getting the airbag out. So we got a little time on going. These guys are trying to start hauling foam down there. Ready? Yeah. Look at all of this foam. This is crazy. And there's still so much more. And there's still more in the pit. Okay, I come out of the bathroom to see Jonah doing this stupid stuff. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jonah's got some tower balance now. There he goes. Yo, fly away. Yo! I don't know why I didn't film it, but we just got the whole airbag out of here. We stacked two stairs on top of each other. This one fell down, but we rolled it up like a ramp. That was so hard. We had to put all of our effort into that, and now it's up here. We gotta get it down even more, so I'll film this. All right, moment of truth. We took out the main airbag and there was a second airbag underneath. Let's see if this thing works. Hey, yo! All right, so the airbag's inflated up to here. For like the past five, 10 minutes, it's like been the exact same. So we think it's fully inflated. There might be a hole in it because I'm thinking that there's gotta be a reason that Jump Off got a new airbag instead of just using this one. So I'm gonna take a step onto it. Let's see if I go right through. No. You're chilling. That's like what an airbag is supposed to be. Yo, what? Don't go too far. So this is sketch, if you can't tell, usually there's like, used to be padding on the inside, but now there's not, so, yeah. Yo! All right, my camera's at blinking red, but Ben is doing a Randy. Whoa, oh, don't, see, this is the sketch part. You can just roll and just fall right under here. Usually there's like foam matting on this side, but that's already been taken out. Yo, X backflip. All right, they're both gonna line Randy. Hopefully they can both land it here. Yes, finally. No. Tyler for Lois and Randy. <laughs> Randy in. What did you hit, Tyler? I pulled a whoopsie, guys. <laughs> All right, day four. We just got the second airbag out, so that's all ready to go. Today is the day that we got the U-Haul. It's loaded up over there. We're just gonna be trying to take the most valuable stuff out first. And then, oh, there goes Spencer. Because I think we have professionals coming to disassemble the dodgeball courts and all that stuff. So we're just trying to get everything that we can out today. Okay, so we just filled up the entire U-Haul, literally to the max. We got two airbags in there, a ton of foam blocks, we got springs, we got mats, we got everything we could get. We have to hire a crew to professionally disassemble all the trampolines. So yeah, we got what we could. We've made it back. U-Haul is emptied, and this is what our life has become. Both garages completely filled with foam, airbags, springs, <laughs> and yeah. What's up guys, today is day six. I'm currently here just by myself. There's literally nobody else in this entire warehouse. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much just gonna start getting all of this foam out of the pit because I wanna get all of these trampolines off. One trampoline is off. Look at how gross this is down here. This is all just like foam dust. No way. No way. Yo. All right, I just found an iPhone 6 at the bottom of the pit. Let's go, baby. Let's see what else we can find. iPod touch for today. Oh, cracked. Just found an iPod touch. The screen on this thing is completely shattered, but hopefully it'll still work. I literally only have these two tramps taken off and I've only found stuff under there. So there's gotta be more stuff in this whole pit. 
Okay guys, so unfortunately I had to head out so I wasn't able to find anything else that day. But yeah, this is just gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, go hit the subscribe button and post notification bell because you do not wanna miss out on the rest of this journey. Still have a ton of stuff left to get out of there and then I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't know if I can set up in my backyard if I can. I will try. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.